Good morning guys, welcome to Rondell Designs. So today we are going to be doing something super fun and that is playing with some paints and turning them into chalk paint by using bicarb soda. So I've been painting for years and I have never ever heard of this until recently. I've seen quite a few people on TikTok and YouTube doing it and I have so many like things that have been sitting around waiting for me to either give back to the charity shop or sell or upcycle into something else. So I've got some lampshades, I've got a colander, I've got these two jars. This is an old apple juice bottle that we actually normally use for savings, but hello coronavirus. <laughs> We've been using our savings, our little holiday money fun. Um, so I'm gonna paint these now apparently by mixing interior paint which i have quite a few samples because i use these to paint my pots um, plant pots and stuff if you mix some bicarb soda with interior paint it works perfectly and you don't have to prep the surfaces of shiny objects so we're going to try metal ceramics glass and wood and we're not going to prep the surface at all, which for me, oh my gosh, that is so amazing because I hate prepping surfaces when I'm going to repaint them. I believe this also works with just acrylic paint. So if you've got acrylic paint rather than interior paint, you could try that. I find generally interior paint is just so much easier to glide on to surfaces. Like it's just, especially bigger surfaces. So first things first, I think we'll start with this nice big glass apple jar. Now I'm going to do this a really bright green. So tip, if you've got lots of little sample pots, I usually just do a little paint on the top of the lid so that it's easier to recognize. I've got a lot. Um, I've just got a little Thomas container and we've got our bicarb soda. Now apparently it's two parts paint to one part bicarb soda. I'm just going to wing it, which is what I normally do. You probably want to put some paper down to protect your surface and you probably should be wearing old clothes rather than one of your favorite vintage dresses but i'll be extra careful old newspaper is great for painting surfaces just to protect where you're working but i'm just going to use a couple of sheets of this paper we're going to get our bicarb soda in Let's see how that goes see this trim I think I'm gonna put this trim around it too it's the last bit of this trim I have it's my favorite I need to get more okay so you just mix probably better to use a little stirring stick than the paintbrush you're about to use but meh oh yeah that's a nice texture already now I love bright colors but you could totally do this with much softer colors if you wanted to like think nice white, if you've got like a really minimalist look going on, a nice white, having heaps of jars and things painted white would be beautiful. Okay, so first coat is done on this one. Glass is super shiny, so obviously I'm going to need to do a second coat on that. So I'm going to put that aside and let it dry. And now we are on to this little guy. This one I only need a little bit. I think the more bicarb soda you put in, the less you have to do extra coats because it makes it really nice and thick. Okay, that's gonna have to sit and dry also before I go on with the second coat. Okay, we're ready for coat two for these two guys touch dry in most places so get as much moisture out of your brush as you can because you want it to go on dry and thick just having that paint sit in the pot for about half an hour has made it actually quite a bit 
thicker than it originally was as well, which is making it so much easier to paint on without making it streaky and see-through. This reminds me of when I was a kid and we, my mum, I don't know if she made it. We had a white bottle with silver glitter that we'd bring out at Christmas time. I'll have to ask her. You could totally put glitter on this though. I'm not really into that into glitter that much anymore. Now, if you do get a little hair from your brush, you just kind of go like that and get it off. Then paint over. Now you're done. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, it's so cool. I love lime green. I don't think I'll ever not love lime green. Sometimes I try and be like a really cool person and just have really neutral colours. But I just... And I love that look where it's just white. Like our room's just white with some plants. And natural like timber and stuff. I love that look but I just... I don't think I'm that person. I just love bright colours so much more. So much more. Maybe... Because we're renting at the moment. Next time I buy a house, maybe I'll just have one room where it's just that beautiful white. Super minimalist, super chic. I'll just see if I like it. <laughs> and the rest of the house will be bright and crazy and full pom pom trim. Okay, we are nearly there. This guy is so bloody cool. I love it. And the best part about this, because it's our little savings coin, gold coin and notes we put in this. Um, but like I said, we have been raiding it a bit during coronavirus lockdowns here in Melbourne for two reasons. Because one, it's just easier to grab some cash. And two, I've been very short of money. And I haven't been selling as much on Marketplace that I normally do. And that's where I put all the cash from there usually. And then when we go on a camping trip or a holiday, that's how, like, you know, usually we get a few hundred dollars. So it can be petrol money or to cover dinners while we're away without that stress. And so, yeah, having it painted instead of clear, I'm not sure whether that's better or not, but we'll find out. So I'm just going to start putting money back in here and then we won't be able to see it. So hopefully that will be less tempting to... Attack the savings bottle. Okay, I'm calling that done. So that's going to... Oh, it wasn't really done, was it? Hang on. Okay. Just, you really should actually check the whole thing before you say you're done. Such a messy painter. Okay, I mean you could do a third coat if you really wanted to have it sealed gorgeously, but I am calling that done. So now we'll put that over there, back to this guy, this is cool. So what I'm, go I'm loving about this one is really beautiful and rich and what I'm going to do is actually get some white turn that into chalk paint and I'm going to do like a little cute little rainbow so like rainbows I'm loving all the rainbow action that's around at the moment but I just thought let's see how how it will look if it's really beautiful dark deep neutral colors and see what look I can get with that and I'll probably won't keep this for myself I'll probably sell it on marketplace can you tell I love selling stuff on marketplace I really do um and if you have thought about selling stuff on marketplace check out my earlier video it's, I did it on craft supplies but it's basically how to list an item on marketplace so it doesn't matter what you're selling on there and I don't know, depending on where you live, right now in Australia, especially Melbourne, that sort of boho natural looks really in. And I wouldn't call this colour boho, but 
once I put a nice little white rainbow on it, it might have that sort of funky, jungly vibe. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but you get the drift. Now this paint, because I put more bicarb in than the green, so that it went on really nice and thick to start with, it's literally nearly dried up now. So I'm going to try and get away without having to do another mix of paint, but I might be pushing it. That's just like come off completely. Okay, so I'm just going to see how this goes. Okay, this guy's going to need a third coat. This is dry now. I really do need to do another coat around the base, but I'm too excited to do the white little um, rainbow that I'm imagining in my head. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I can come back to the bottom after. Mm. Do you know what you should do, which I bloody don't, is not leave heaps of paint drizzling down on the side once you've closed your lid back off because it makes it so hard to open it again if you haven't used it for a while. I need to take my own advice on that one. Okay, so this is white. Now this interior white is actually quite translucent, so I'll be interested to see if the... Bicarb soda helps to get it a nice and thick coat. I put way too much white on that. I didn't need that much white. Anyway, I was a nutter. So I've just put heaps of bicarb soda in there because I want it super thick. Um, just with the ratio of bicarb soda to paint, just go with what you like. Go with the texture that you like. Start with less maybe and add in. Okay, so I've got a picture in my head like three little lines for the rainbow. Let's see if I can make it look how I see it in my head. Okay. Cute. And it's not even going to be, I should turn around this way so you can see. It's not even going to be super perfect, I don't think. Because it's kind of going to have that, I don't know, I wouldn't say Mediterranean vibe, but. Well, maybe I would. Oh, it's cute. I'm thinking, actually, I probably would have preferred to have a, a thinner brush than this one. Maybe half the size, because I had in my head to do, that I wanted to do three layers rather than two. But I don't think, I don't think going up another layer will, I think it'll be too much. What I might do, I'm just thinking, if I just do little, I might just do like little dots around. What's your fingers? I'm always doing that. I mean, super lazy over here. I could literally walk out 10 meters to my garage and get a little paintbrush, but meh. Kind of going for that naturally look though, aren't I? So what do you think? Does it look like a pizza oven? I don't think I love it. Okay, 
I didn't love it. Um, so this guy had a lot of potential. I don't really, I don't really like it. I think the look I was going for would have been much better with a thinner brush to do like three little cute little rainbow but that's okay you win some you lose some it still could look super cute somewhere couldn't it anyway that's just an idea so you can do whatever you like i mean if i really wanted to i could paint over that again but we'll see so next up i've got my lampshades and my colander so let's do it so these lamp stands and the colander have been sitting in my garage and they've gotten quite dusty. So I just grabbed a baby wipe and just gave them all a really good wipe over to get rid of that dust. So I'm sticking with my interior paint sample pots again for these ones and going with a pink and a turquoise. So I was really unsure how this one would go because it is clear plastic and I th normally you would not be able to just put paint straight over the top of this, but it came out really well and I had lots of bicarb soda in it, so it has a really beautiful rough, rough look. And then the same with this wooden lampstand, it has a really shiny varnished finish, so again I wasn't sure how it would go. But I have to say, this lampstand's probably my favourite out of everything because it just came up so beautifully. Then with the colander, I went for a yellow paint sample pot. Now this was so old that the paint had actually gone really thick and lumpy. So um, I still gave it a shot and it did go on. But I have to be honest, I wasn't loving the yellow. It was really hard to go on because it was so old and lumpy, um, but I did the whole thing anyway. And then I actually quit on that and decided to use Rust-Oleum on it. So I'll show you that now. So this is the colander after I gave it a coat of spray paint and it just made it look so much nicer. If I had have had a better quality um, yellow sample pot of the paint. I think it would have worked fine, but it didn't. So this is perfect now. Um, I think I'm going to put some succulents or some other plants in here. Uh, so this is everything finished. Now I did put that trim around my lovely savings bottle. I might even do some of this pink, just some dots or a big love heart or something just to make it even more brighter. As you can see with my pink lamp, I've just actually left it with a vintage globe. I am not going to put a shade on it, but you could totally put a shade on it and decorate your shade as well. And the blue one is missing because one of my kids already stole it because she loved it so much. So it turned out really well. That is done. So I hope you really like this video. Super easy way to use really cheap product which is bicarb soda uh, mix in with some paints to give some things you've got lying around the house a whole new look so if you like this video make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more great videos and let me know in the comments what you're going to have a go at okay thanks guys remember get creative today and I'll see you next time